Hi Arts Club, today we are doing a, it's like a wall sculpture because uh, it's a paper plate and on it we are doing a gazelle which is an African animal um, design just in black and white with lots of pattern. So get a paper plate and a marker, well a pencil erase if you need one and a black marker and come and join me this is a thompson's gazelle and its natural habitat is uh, several countries in africa so we're going to start at the bottom of your plate of your paper plate with a line like this and we're making a little trapezoid. Next, a slightly bigger line. And we're going to make a bump. Looks like a mushroom right now. And then a semicircle over here and a line down. There we go. And then we're going to take one line and go up like this. And another line and go up opposite direction and then a little down line down here and a little line down there an oval and another oval And another line inside that oval. And then from here, we're coming back down. And we come back down. And we're going to add in some pattern. And the last one is going to be a little bit of a curve. This one here. Okay, and then we're going to make the ears. This is a very simplified version of a gazelle. Two, one line here, and then you come up and up, up and up, and this comes down a bit. And there's one horn there and one horn on this side and then a straight line and we're going to add a semicircle here and the line on the side and the side and diagonal lines over here and diagonal lines on the side you can use a crayon or you can use a marker or even try a colored pencil. The colored pencil, I don't know if it will be dark enough, but if you want to do fine details, it will work. The crayon will work for thick lines and the, so will the marker. I'm going to start with a marker first. 
I'm just using an Expo marker because my other marker dried out. So an Expo works really well. Um, but just a re regular Crayola would actually be perfect, the thin or the thick one. So we're going to trace the gazelle first. And I think I like my lines curved a little more than I did before. Over here. So let's trace. I think there's another line here. So next we are going to leave a space, but we're going to outline the gazelle in our design. There's going to be a lot of pattern. Maybe try the crayon. <laughs> 